It kills almost half of all people who catch it. It's killing millions of birds worldwide, and it has scientists sounding the alarm. And it's one reason your grocery bill has gone up. It's the H5N1 avian influenza. H5N1 is a bird flu that is ripping through domestic and wild bird populations. Spread by mucus, saliva, and droppings, it is nearly impossible to stop. Wild birds cannot be quarantined, nor can migrations be halted, and they're spreading the virus to new locations. It can infect and kill humans, but so far it can't spread person to person. But now scientists and labs are working to produce medicines to treat and prevent it. This variant of H5N1 was discovered in 1996, and it's been spreading since 2003. However, a more contagious variant emerged in 2021, and that's now spread to every continent but Antarctica and Australia. Bird flu circulate all the time, and most of them are not that severe. However, this one is so deadly, it's killed millions of birds worldwide. In the U.S. alone, farmers have had to cull 58 million domestic birds to stop the spread of infections. H5N1 has infected at least 160 species of birds, but it's also spread to 17 types of mammals. No one knows if it's spreading mammal to mammal. So far, it's killing several types of sea mammals, bears, big cats, mustelids such as ferrets, wild canines, and outliers such as skunks and opossums. From this map, you can see how widespread H5N1 is in North America, but it's also killed thousands of sea mammals in Peru, Argentina, and Chile. Tens of thousands of mink were culled in Spain after the outbreak of a variant that was potentially spreading mammal to mammal. So why is this such a problem? If the virus mutates to spread between mammals, then there's a higher chance it'll mutate to spread person to person, and that can cause a pandemic. The virus has infected 868 humans in 22 countries. 457 of them died, according to the WHO. That's a fatality rate of 53%. So far as we know, all the human cases have come from handling dead birds. But 78% of all human flus originally come from birds and adapt to humans. With a flu that kills half of all those it infects, that should make us pay attention. As birds migrate back north with spring, scientists expect they will continue spreading the virus to new locations. We can only hope that with these new infections come no new variants. I'm author Annette Avondale, and this is Erie History. Please like and subscribe.